Did your whites first. After you did your whites, you took them out, then you put your coloreds in. After you did your coloreds, you took them out, then you put the pit clothes in. The pit clothes went in last. And they would uh, put it, heat the water and put it in the thing, and they would pounce it and then go like this back and forwards. That's how they wash. Basically, what the washing machines did after that, when you got the twin tub and that took them all day, especially if you had nine. My mother had nine, so she used to wash all day. Sometimes two days, depends. But of course, we didn't have clothes like you, the kids have these days. They used to, she took them off at night. She used to sometimes put my clothes in the bath water, wash them, put them on the fender or the oven door for them to dry. And they had a hard life in them days, they did, they walked hard. And my mother had to take washings in, she had to clean for people, she laid people out, she went to people getting their babies, she drowned the dogs in a postic, like puppies, kittens, if they didn't want them, she drowned them with a post tub. Um, they called her the White Witch Doctor, because she used to do everything, wait on at funerals, anything to make coppers, make mats and sell them. You know, proggy mats and sell them and that, but she had a hard life. She would puss in the yard in the winter and the, a pin used to be ice with a wet. Uh, and then my father's up the pub gambling. Well, they had to use everything, everything that they had. So this would keep the, the floor nice and warm. And my grandma had um, different ones for the, the weekend then she, but when people visited the weekend, she would but nicer ones, but they all made their own patterns and there's generally a border around. Made them all different sizes. You see, isn't it? Gee, oh God, is it beautiful? Thanks, it's sure. Is it alive? Molly? My granddad used to keep pigs. Every year, he got a, a little pig and he fattened it up. And of course, that was to share amongst the friends and neighbors and the family. I used to go up to my husband's family and they had old colliery houses and they used to kill a pig, hang it in the back lane with the legs here and there and the, the bucket underneath to catch the blood. And my grandma used to make black pudding and white pudding and um, she used to salt stuff to keep it preserve it. Today ladies have been making pigs in clover which was basically just a way to make your sausages go further. So you give your potatoes a good old scrub and then with an apple corer you take out the middle of them. We need to push it in. <laughs> Core it through. The potatoes are too big to do it all the way through so you go on the other end as well. Oops. Oh, it's worth And that's what you stick your sausage in. Squeeze that sausage in there. But of course, we won't be chopping this out because it'll be chopped up. Go that's with that and make some soup. So you've come and Just like Nigella Lowe. I'll get you some more water, my dog. Wash your hands in. <laughs> oh. When my grandma used to bake, um. We knew when we went in what she'd been baking by the smell. I mean, bread, I think, was baked twice a week. But on a Saturday, she baked for her brother that used to come, and he used to go home with brown paper carrier bags full of food, because he had eight children. Well, my grandma always had a house full of people coming in, even the neighbours. There was ladies that lost their husbands and they all used to come to grandma's and she would have two sittings. She used to 
make great big giant Yorkshire puddings for the. Of course, then days I couldn't. I was amazed at the amount of uh, food they had. But then, when you get older, I realised they need that food for the fuel when they worked physically down the mines and that. But she, she had people coming in, and that's why she's always had something cooking. Because there was ladies that haven't got husbands and that, and they used to pop in and sit and talk to her, and Grandma used to feed them all. My mum used to have fantastic New Year's Eve parties. The back door and the front door were never closed. I mean, we were supposedly upstairs, but we used to sneak downstairs and whatever. My dad used to play the... Um, Mm-hmm. Accordion. And um, an old man next door used to play the violin. Well, in my earliest memories, I remember Grandad coming back really dirty from the pit. And would all, this is all the hard for washing. And he would sit on a lower air chair, and there's a little cracker, they called him. He put his legs in there, and I used to watch him wash himself. But he'd never wash, wet his back. They always used to give it a good rub. Of course, they would have clothes on the back, so they didn't get that, you know, not seriously. But I can always remember his skin had little, little blue things in where the bits of coal had penetrated the skin. And he would have still had them today. They never go anywhere. They're just still there. But he, it was, everything was uh, heated up. The water was heated up and brought in there. And, and uh, he had a, a wash daily in this little bath before the, before the mines had the washing facilities for men. My mother uh, used to run the trips because once you run the trips and you collect it every week up to the six week summer holidays, she would get free, free seat on the bus with us. So she got a free trip. But the first week you'd maybe go into South Shields, second week you'd go into Tainmouth, the next week you'd go into Colour Coats, next week you'd go into Seaton Carew. You, you went a different seaside for the six weeks. And my mother used to put her dress in her knickers and dance, put a daft hat on and with a little paper umbrella, and she'd dance around when they're all in a semicircle on the beach. She'd dance around, collect coppers, and she'd get up the kids to go up the Spanish city to put in the slot machines. Oh, my lads, you should have seen us standing, passing the folks along the road just to see we standing. All the lads and lasses there, all with smiling faces, down the land of Scotland Road to see the big races. Yoo-hoo! Look at them smoke. <laughs> <laughs> 